Good Wednesday evening, everybody, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire. The Ascension grind continues. Last run. Hey, Grandma basically summed it up. Play slipping. And you know what I say to that? I say thank you, because the feedback is always good. But it's also the truth, but at the same vein, like, I kind of expected it, because I'm back at work and, like, the focus is kind of split, because, like, at every waking moment, I'm like, ah. But not today. Today was good. Today was also bad, but it was a productive bad, not just a, you know, like, pulling my hair out bad. So that's good. That's good. Uh, what else can we talk about that's not work? Hey, yeah, you guys have been recommending me mods, which is good. It, like, definitely PM me, DM me, whatever you want to M me mod recommendations. <clears throat> Go ahead. Twitter, YouTube, leave a comment. I'll take up the list once we're done with Ascension Mode. We'll definitely hit up some mods. I'm just saying right now, one of the top rated mods, if anyone recommends me the Horny Dragon, we're going to have a problem. I don't know why this mod is top rated on Slay the Spire. It, like, it literally is one of the three mods recommended here. What the hell is... Ooh. I mean, just looking at it, maybe I'll consider it. Oh, you know, it's also in traditional Chinese, so maybe not. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's do some grinding. Grinding? Some ascension grinding. How about not grinding, but more so just winning? Give me a George W here. Transformer card. Yeah, maybe. Uh, enemies next to me comments have 1 HP. I love it so much. Lose 7 max HP. I'll tell you what I don't want to do. Even if it's to choose a rare card. I might transform, but I think three enemies, one HP is always a good grab. Even better if you can hit up an elite early. Not seeing that option here. But we couldn't get to this elite, like, you know, with relative ease. No guarantee of shot, but we get a lot of fireplaces in the way. Yeah. Go ahead and give me the lament. I love it. And let's go. We're gonna hit up that shop early as well. I mean, it's a safe space, much like my YouTube video channels here. YouTube video channels, I, you know, that was a sentence. I was gonna make a reference like, oh, this is my safe space. I'd make the joke a lot. It's not a safe space, it's my ether. This is my void that I scream into at the end of the day. <clears throat> and whenever my coworkers ask, hey, what are you doing in your spare time? I'm like, oh, you know, I just sleep. Never my work son. My work son knows about this uh, YouTube channel and follows me on Twitter as well. I love my work son. I don't think he even watches any videos, but he knows what I do. He keeps it a secret though, he understands you gotta have a, a work you and then a not work you. Shockwave. Seems very good, just in general. It's also... Ah. Is there a beeping noise? Dude, I'm hearing things. I, I swear to god, like, I'm even at home, I'm hearing like my fucking work headset on my head. It's like, is someone calling me? Please, no. Nobody else call me. Uh, right now, this could be a Rampage deck. If we just keep things very thin, get a few good draw defensive options, uh, I mean, only one really comes to mind, and that would be the Shrug It Off. We could potentially just make this into that kind of deck and go for it. Uh, Ghost Armor is good, and I don't want to pass it up. And right now, like, if I had to keep the deck as it is, I think it's pretty damn good. We are going to up Ghost Armor, though, just because 13 block for one. Pretty good. Do not be Gremlin Knob. Hey, it's not Gremlin Knob. He's also instantly dead. How did this happen? Wow. Uh, that was not a intentional trust me if it was intentional i would have like met on a mon <laughs> went on a monologue I'm, I'm talking faster dude today was a busy day for the phones i had to rapid fire words out i was talking fast nailing clients nail nailing like the dialogue not nailing the actual clients. let's not okay you know let's just backpedal here basically i was talking really fast also they didn't understand me so i had to stop and repeat like i do here it's, it's my english man i've come to accept i speak a little fast and i I recognize it sometimes, and then we try and dial it back. Get some smooth tones here, so you understand each and every word. Then we get back to speaking rapid fast, like I got Stagato selling some fucking Storage Wars crates, or I'm at a fucking car auction. Hmm. Car auctions. I've been to car auctions a lot as a child, namely because my dad went to them a lot, and when you're young, you have to go, and I'm like, oh, look, a car. I'm like, yeah, this is great. I vividly remember walking around the, I want to call it a dump, but it was more like a car yard. It, it looked like a fucking car junkyard, like something straight out of Brave Little Toaster, if you can remember that from your childhood. Shout out to any Brave Little Toasters fan, Discount Toy Story, am I right? <clears throat> yeah, car auctions. I went a lot of those as a kid. I don't know why I'm telling you about car auctions. It's because I was mentioning the rapid fire speech thing. I don't know. I don't know how people do that. And you know some of those guys, like if you've seen Storage Wars, those guys can fucking shoot off some fast linguistics, man. Is storage words even on TV anymore? Fuck, dude, I don't know. I'm not gonna go down that path. I'm not even gonna bother Googling it, because, to be honest, any of those, like, public television shows, especially, you know, like, Storage Wars, I know they have a fucking legit formula they follow to the T, and it just bores me. I need, I need excitement in my life. Um, we're gonna do this. 
So everything blocks for five. Everyone's weak. I don't think I can one-shot anyone. Maybe with the bash. Maybe. Maybe with the rampage. No, with the rampage either. I will still... Scale it up on you and block twice, because if we draw it again, we're going to want to use the upgraded uh, Rampage on one of these other guys to one-shot him. And I'll just throw a, a Shiv at this guy, or a Basic Strike. Hey, there's the Rampage. I can only kill one right now. Kind of sucks. We'll kill you. Could be using some potions here, but I'm going to save that for a rainy day situation. I mean, it's already a sunk cost at this point, but there might be that one situation where... <laughs> Excuse me again. Still a little ill. Work in progress. Ugh. My body's falling apart. Hang on. Yeah, still a little ill, but again, work in progress. We're nearly healed. Uh, in game and in real life. Uh, still nothing. Keeping the deck very thin. I am going to take on this other elite, I think. Ooh, regen potion. Okay, so I will take that. And with it, I will take on the elite, because I don't have anything else I really want to upgrade too, too badly here. So, bring on the elite. This is exactly why I came here, because I knew I might be utilizing some... Uh, you know, HP soakage. This guy is absolutely going to destroy me. He's going to chunk me here. I'm going to hit him back. Hit him, hit him. Rotate the deck around a bit. We'll be good. I'm actually not taking any damage thanks to some wonderful cards I have in my pocket. Um, I will block this because I think I'm going to be able to come out ahead here. I draw my Rampage and some additional strikes and we should be able to finish him off. Yeah. It's all in. Dude, if anything... You can critique me all you want, guys. My first floor play has gotten very, very good. We're talking about the game a lot here, so I can distract you in the fact that I said nail clients earlier, because that's just... <laughs> this is like one of those like linguistic slips. You're like, eh, you know, you're, you're trying to like say it in a different way, and then you really like... You really just like set it in the horse possible way, and then you bring attention to it again, because it is a funny bit, but it's also like, what are you... You okay? Ah, get some help. But we're playing good. And I'm feeling good today. I honestly went in today, I'm like, dude, some days I don't know if it's going to be, like, the day for me where I just actually just, you know, break down at work. Not, like, in a very destructive way, just, like, mentally I collapse and I'm like, oh, man, Tim became a pile of mush. I wonder what happened. It's like, you know what happened. Look at me. Look at us. You see what's happening to us on a daily basis. We all know, too. When some of my coworkers, I'll say this, when some of the coworkers I work with, they're drinking coffee in the morning. I've never seen them drink coffee once in the two-ish years I've been here. I know it's time. We all know it's time. It's crime time, dude. Although it's not so bad right now. We're, we're getting there, though. Dude, why? Okay, we're fine. Probably got Rampage there. It would have been a little cheese. We can kill him with anything, but Rampage is, like, guaranteed. When did I get a Battle Trance? I want to watch the replay and remind me when I got that. Reaper. Hmm. I'm probably going to take it just for the sustained healing, especially on this upcoming fight and a lot of other fights. Burning Pact is a tempting option. This also can get thrown in the fire if we want to get some max HP from the event later. A Reaper, it can give me a little boost. The upgrade for this thing is, I always see the upgrade for Reaper, and I'm just asking Mega Crit, why even bother giving this an upgrade? Like, it's so, like, even in the grand scheme of things, it's not great. Should probably, in all honesty, actually, yeah, actually... Maybe I will go for the Burning Pact. Reaper's giving me the sustain I need, but I have a dream that one day... You know the Martin Luther bit. Um, yeah, we can utilize this to burn out some defends, mostly the strikes, and really just get to that Rampage as soon as possible. But like right there, and even right now, it's fine to use because I can burn through it, not get Shockwave out, and that's okay. We can use that to burn the slimes out as well, so now you're thinking. Bash, gotta play this. Um, probably gonna take the big hit here. So we do it like this first. Then you do it like this. Um, at this point, I think you're just better off blocking. And thinning out some slimes so the deck stays thin. We're just gonna let Rampage scale up, and we can take our time doing this. Okay. We can take our time doing a lot of things right now. We're slowly losing this... Okay, I should have thrown this poison on him a while ago. I recognize that fact. I apologize. Forgive me, I have sinned. We're gonna bounce back, though. That's a lot of slimes in the deck, though. Like, a lot of slimes. Yeah, we need to get some action going here. And this is a good time to crush. Strike, strike, play that. We're splitting him down to 27 apiece. That's not bad. Situation right now is not good either, but not bad. Uh, yeah, take that opportunity so we can one-shot you here with a Rampage if we get it. 
And... And... We got it. I'm actually gonna take you out instead. You take me out. I should also be playing that, uh... That draw card swing with these slimes. Okay, so yeah, a moment ago I said my first floor play has been pretty good. Uh, that was a little sloppy, but the deck was actually stupid strong enough to just let me, you know, play bad like that and get away with it, so we're good. Double tap is amazing for a billion reasons more. Give me a headbutt in here, we're good to go. Sneko. Scares me. <clears throat> Transform all strikes and defense. Scares me. Curses. Scares me. I actually don't think I take any of this is the real thing, but I, I can make a case for Sneko. You can make a case. The over under for our, you know, value is going to be pretty bad. But with a few more draw cards, I, okay, it's, it's very foolish. It's very brass. I'm just going to go for more draw cards because if we just get card draw cards, even if they cost more than they should and I can draw into something that costs nothing, that's a value. It's a value add right there. We're going to hit up this shop, get a bunch of, ooh, it's two elites. Okay, we're going to hit up. Okay, we're gonna... Like, that's the most fireplaces. Okay, we're gonna hit up that shop, get the fireplace. We're gonna fucking climb, dude. We're climbing this tower. Already not a great start, but this is good. Shockwave out the gate. Rampage starts scaling. I'm gonna go ahead and toast these guys while I have a chance. Aura Calcum's gonna do me a minor solid to reduce the damage by six. Thank you, Aura Calcum. Free strike. Nod to that. Ghost armor, gotta play it. Block, gotta play it. We're not taking any damage. The weakness is gonna last long enough for this entire fight. We're really just trying to get to our rampage again. Double tap costing three makes me wanna die. Wanna wanna die seeing that. Yeah. So one of these guys are gonna get away with some of our money, but there's still a chance we can win big here. There he is. Burn out this fucking too expensive of a card. Okay, hang on. Hit him. Hit him. Well, Battle Trance. Didn't get anything we want. The big thing we're looking for, Rampage. It's a slim chance, but if we can get it. Or some decent value card, let's go. Let's fucking go. All right, it's it's risky. We need, we need draw. I'm gonna grab card. Okay, so now we're getting to the point where like the deck's gonna get too thick. I, I need draw cards to make this work. And I don't want to thicken up the deck too much because we do want to play Rampage. Uh, let's do the safe bet here. Thank you. Safe bet, best bet. Early shop. Limit break. We have no strength gain. We could change that. There's your strength gain. Uh, I can't afford both, can I? Man, 143. I can afford both. Because 160, 340... You know, it's 130 there, and then you got 26 left over. That puts you down to... Yeah, I could afford both. But we have Sneko's Eye now, so... Do you even oh, no. do it? I don't think you do. I think you get Tiny Chess, pray to RNG just to get some more big draws, and then we just continue to thin out the deck because we have the Smiling Mask to do so. And we have another shop right around the corner, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we do, so... Hold on to some of that money. This one, you don't need to burn a hole in your pocket. Hey, it's got a rampage. It's the the win condition. Oh fuck, this one's gonna be really bad if we don't scale stupid fast. So here I am willing to burn out a singular defend. I am going to bash, and I am going to shockwave. No, I'm not going to shockwave, because it doesn't get me any benefit. All right, here, this is where things get scary. We can get some solid blockage going on here. I am going to shoot for the moon. Shockwave for nothing is good. And especially if I can do bash into shockwave. We'll get the vulnerability out there. That's about it, though. Or you can block for nine. You can block for six. Because I can't play rampage. And I probably should have played rampage. And then we're looking at cards like a, a big old dingling here. And you're like, man. Shockwave does nothing. So we're going to do it like this. Get the vulnerability on there. Take some upfront damage. Regret picking up Sneko's eye. And hopefully profit. Okay. Potential profiting here. Ernie packed out this. Good. I can battle trans again because, you know, you never know. Might get something for free. Did not get anything for free. We're going to double tap Rampage. 
and he is nearly dead. He's dead. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Regen potion's also a nice supplement. Shrug it off is exactly what I need. Even if it fucks me over because it costs too much, it's gonna win me something at one point. Great two attacks. Jurikin, man. This is this was a very nice seed. I kinda wish I would have been able to, you know, see ten minutes into the future here. Hmm. To be honest with you, panic button doesn't look so unappealing, but the fact that it might cost more than zero is the big unappealing factor about it. A good bronze. Uh, you take the draw, you take the thin, and you take the moon, and you take the poison potion, because, you know, you never know. 30 damage over time might be what you need. I am gonna keep pushing it here. Um, more draw. Always nice. It's really, like, the gambit is, like, draw good or die. And to be honest, ooh, 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 what you say? You did that in the wrong order, and because you did it, say goodbye to go. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, it's a good opener, damage-wise. Uh, we're gonna just definitely focus on getting him because if he does the fucking come shot on me here, it's, it's listen. I, I made the story about the like the Elise from League of Legends and like the Meteos guy. It's a reference, okay? I don't I don't speak so crude in real life. I just gotta make sure I'm defending myself here, so none of you think I'm just some crass fucking heathen. I don't think many of you think that anyway. Hey, let's drink it! Hey, this is fucking expensive. And when you said this might pay off? Yeah. So we're just gonna double tap the strike. We'll play a... No, we will not, because we get a little bit more from the Orichalcum. So that poison might take care of him, but they might put me in a position where I have to blow the... No, I don't have to blow it on him. I can just get a little bit of free damage. Okay, battle transfer free is outstanding. Shrug it off for eight is actually not so bad. So we'll go ahead and... Well, value proposition, we'll do it like this. Continue to scale that. And you know what? That's 19 reduced to 13, still looking good. Thank God for the Reju Potion for giving me that little bit of extra life that I needed. All right, it's, it's fucking bad. Um, in case you were curious, it's bad. Okay, this is better. It's only better because we get to play an additional block for 10, so we're mitigating a little further here. We might die, and it's going to be my own damn fault. And I fucking own up to that. This guy, given the wounds, is actually fucking absurd right now. I probably should have focused him, <laughs> in hindsight. I'm usually not used to focusing him, because it's not that big of an issue. He's also getting plus one strength to turn. I was not paying attention at all. Okay, hang on, hang on. Shrug it off. Battle Trance. We can double tap for 48 damage right now. So, we're probably dead. He's, he's gotten a lot of strength really fast. Yeah, I'm dead. Mmm... I'll be honest if I said it wasn't cheese there, so I've learned something here. I don't think I've taken this fight on in the high level ascension. You want to get rid of that guy. More so than the guy on the right, I think. Him getting that plus one strength and filling. If you're doing a thin deck, of course. Uh, it doesn't help you out too much. I think we have fought those people before on high level ascension. We just uh, didn't. We, we like AoE'd them down, I think. So, all right. Wipe off your hands. Lose all gold, get a rare card is good. Can I get another free elite kill, perhaps? Potentially. Potentially. If not, then you miss out. Two fireplaces on the right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and just take the lose all gold. Yeah, lose all gold and then uh, choose a rare card. Okay. Um, it's probably going to be double tap or feed. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Feed? Get some serious max HP gains out the gate. Utilize that. Leverage your HP for, you know, cards. Yeah, I, I think that might work out. So we want to take combat on now. Because every note of combat could be 3 HP up. We're likely going to lose a lot of HP in the process getting it, but we're going to come out of here fucking small as shit, dude. It's going to be an absolute unit if we wanted to go down the meme path here. So we're going to guarantee draw it here. If I can get some damage. Yeah, that'll do. All right, 
And we're actually going to come out pretty good on HP. So yeah, more of that. Thunderclap. Cheap vulnerability. Early game usage. I mean, synergize it with the strike. Yeah. Flex, never again. Never on Ascension, at least. Yeah, like these guys, Thunderclap's not a bad bid against. I'll take one damage to remove the armor. Always a solid option. And they're in feed territory, so we'll chomp on you. See you driving around town with the girl I love. And I'm like, chomp you? It, the, the musical bits were never my strong pieces. If anything, my strong pieces literally like make reference to, you know, generation before millennials. Target said generation. Google said generation is like <clears throat> treasure television show like ALF. Rant on that for like a month and then find new material. <laughs> There you go, there's the path. Uh, the max HP, we could probably do it, but I mean, I'm not worried about my temporary HP and... Yeah, no, let's keep gaining the HP. <clears throat> I got a good feeling about this. We're gonna want to hang on to that for later, though. Could have popped that there, I'm gonna hold out. Bash, block. Pop this if we think we're gonna take a little bit too much damage. Okay, this might be that very situation. We're not going to eat him as a result of this, but we're going to gain 6 HP at the cost of that potion. Headbutt. It's a combo component, and it does 9 damage base. Doubt. Yeah, doubt it. It's it's too risky to do. Like, it's way too risky to do. I'm, I'm foolish, because I don't think I'm going to take on the Elite now. I'm going to take on a later one, maybe. I'm going to buff this up, and I'm going down the feed train, boys. I think this might work out. Yeah, like, we can feed one of these guys, like, instantly. That's a very good little start. Um, go ahead and knock you out. Go ahead and knock you out. Yeah, all these guys are feed targets, even while I'm weakened. I can still feed on them. Hey. Okay. So we are going to headbutt to get the kill, obviously. Grab the vulnerability. I think you block twice. Yeah, you block twice. Still weak, but they're still in, like, chomp territory. And we, we could end it, but let's be smart. Last card in the deck, of course, would be the one that you want. That's only the Slayer's by Norm. Plus four HP. I feel it. A second headbutt, so now we have actual combo components for a real deck if we can ever, you know, create one. Uh, it takes a minute to get there, apparently. Uh, ghost armor. Yeah, because, you know, there's, uh, upgrading a headbutt's not really something I strive for. Question card. It's just okay. Oh. Being able to dual wield my... No. No. Being able to dual wield the uh, the feed would be hilarious. So anything with multi-combat, you can get upwards of like eight or more HP. That sounds like fun, but... Uh, shop sucks. Run... Kinda su again, the, it sucks now, but we're leveraging this HP for something grand. Never forget that. Also, free headbutt, please. Thank you very much. Or free uh, ghost armor. Yeah, and you can spam that shit all fucking day. All motherfucking day. Okay. So he's in chomp territory. That's why we uh, went for him. We're likely gonna draw a chomp. There's the chomp. Okay, and then you. Have then you headbutt back, obviously ghost armor. I don't think he takes a day off to the attack. Yeah, he's just the mad attacker. Underclass. Hey, you know what? Just keep that train going. So make the deck thick and thin enough. Get headbutt on rotation. Get ghost armor every turn. Guaranteed 13 block. What else does that get you in the deck? It gets you a turn of 13 block every time and nothing else. It also costs you two mana to make it happen every single time. So wouldn't bet on it. Don't bet on the fucking, you know, green and roulette for this one. Strike him. Don't believe that's enough to get a kill. It's 50% increase, that'd be six, yeah. Not enough. Will not be rused. Hit him, hit him, moving on. What would you say to a third headbutt, Tim? Well, I would say it's too many headbutts, but... If we can ever get something we want, that'd be good, too. So I'll take a third headbutt. We're now in meme territory. <laughs> Heard you like headbutts. Okay, so we can, um... We could, we could... 
I can play all of this with this potion here. That would be 9, 18, 6, 12, 30. That's not enough to get a kill outright. So I'm just going to strike. I'm going to headbutt. I'm going to headbutt. And then we get headbutt back. See if we can loop this around to get that max HP, but, you know, headbutt. Okay, put feet on top and... Yeah, I guess put headbutt on top and we're going to get the max HP. I don't know if I want to fight an elite with this deck. <laughs> It's, it's pretty fucking awful. Okay, there's bludgeon. That's damage. I suppose. Oh my god, we're fighting Slime Lord. Is that the only damage I got? Is the only damage in this deck actually going to be bludgeon? What a fucking world. This can't be the world I live in, right? It's just bludgeon. I mean, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to hit up the shop because I need, I need something. Anything. Chalkwave is actually not bad. Corruption is... The, it's a bid. It's always a bid. And then, you know, you corrupt out all your defense and your ghost armor, and then you have headbutt, headbutt, headbutt for damage. 27 damage a turn. Not bad. <laughs> Could imagine a better world to live in right now. Not this one. We're gonna grab Shockwave, because Shockwave into Slamajama is... or Bludgeon is all we got. Pray to upgrade a card. Don't laugh. It's the only, the only thing I got in this world. Damn it. Um, and we're gonna. What do you do? You save Shockwave for a later form, I suppose. You get. Bash, you get, get a headbutt up to 12 damage, of course. Okay, so we have a deck. This is definitely something I would label as a deck. Uh, and I'm likely not going to be chomping the boss. I don't even want to fucking fuck around with the idea of chomping the boss. Okay, we need to... Just getting him low is fine, because if we can get the, the slam out here, that's A-OK -okay by me. 28 is doable. They go bludgeon... You drink this, you headbutt back. Probably Thunderclap at this point. Just bring Bludgeon back. He'll be able to one-shot one of the other guys. So we're splitting him down to 18 apiece. And from that, like, the rest of this is pretty damn easy, but... Uh, don't let this fool you. This is not a deck. <laughs> I played I played Bludgeon like four times and I won the fight, but it's this is not a deck. Not by a long shot. So Demon Form is your uh, potential endgame scaling into Oblivion winning condition. It, it might actually be the only choice I got right now. I've fallen behind in love and offering. I still love offering, but, you know, you give me a lot of options here. I think I gotta go for fucking Demon Form and then somehow figure out the rest. Black Blood's gonna be the sustain we need after fights. I mean, we have a lot of max HP, so maybe I'll be able to squeeze out Demon Form easily. Hit up every fireplace as well, so we can lick our wounds after any semblance of combat. Hit up the shop early. Yeah, hit up that shop. No, hit, no, fuck the shop. I got 100 gold. What dreams are going to come out of that? I can hit up that shop, maybe. Give me the question mark. I can bet on the night and win potentially a billion dollars. Yeah, and then you can take 21 damage out the gate. So, uh, okay, it's going to be a... going to be a shrug it off for free. You can, you can bludgeon. I think I think you play bludgeon. You see bludgeon, you play bludgeon right now. Like that that seems extremely smart. You see bludgeon, you play it. Like also you get you know the weakness out there. You also play it because this is a good turn for that. Now I think we can kill him outright with bludgeon. And you get demon form. You play demon form. No, you play headbutt. Headbutt, not headbutt. Bring back that. Strike him down. Reduce that armor. Or Calcum would be another godsend in this deck. My underappreciated but overappreciated child or Calcum, and then you kill him. Alright, so and then we got Black Blood to sustain us. So we sort of have like Jerry rigged a, a very interesting deck. And they keep throwing corruption at my face like it's a siren's call. The dead branch is gonna show up and I'm gonna fucking cry. But give me disarm so I have some more defensive options. I cannot disarm this man. This man right here cannot be disarmed, sir. I'm sorry, he cannot be disarmed. I'm gonna grab ghost armor, it's another good chance to block. Unless I get bludgeon here. Yeah. Fuck. 
So you actually still do that. So headbutt back a ghost armor, and then you'll strike. You really need to play bludgeon is the thing. Like, this is long term, you're not going to really win anything in this, this farce. So headbutt back bludgeon. Well, let's go ahead and play that next turn. Because we're already taking way more damage than we should have. You play bludgeon, you play it one more time, you win. And he's making you work for it. Can I feed here? No. Oh my lord. Oh, you did it to yourself. Could have played the uh, potion here to... So we had 38 HP, which is awful. Awful start. Um, it's me, headbutt! Oh, I can't. It's too much headbutt. Power through. Um, power through with the medical kit is actually just, you know, a free win as this guy. And then you get the car, the Charon's Acids or anything that gives you armor or something when you discard or exhaust card. You're, you're good to go there. Wheel of Change. Yo, know, there's ever been a time to give me... Ooh, Mega Crit. I'm liking, I'm liking it. Nice resolutions. Mega Crit, I, I hate it. I hate everything. Oh my fucking god, it's awful. Take, take it back. Take it back. You shockwave here. Because you need to preserve your HP. Yep, I can't seem to play demon form despite what I said about being able to play demon form in this deck as an option. Uh, hilariously enough, we are going to headbutt back demon form. Because if I get a free turn to play it, or bludgeon, you know, whichever wants to show up here. Okay, we'll play bludgeon. The only reason why we're alive is because of black blood. What the fuck are half of these cards, man? Seeing red lets me play a few other things. Like, what? <laughs> what, what, what card can I fish out that helps me? This deck is trash. I'm sorry, this is a mean deck. You could you could get a, a rampage, potentially. Let's let's try. It's bludgeon. <laughs> uh it was a fucking bait. Just a giant ruse. Go ahead and get me probably another ghost armor. And we're just praying we don't draw ghost armor in turns we have bludgeon. So we can do it. Wow, this is this is hot garbage. Some of the hottest garbage this side of fucking garbage brewery. Alright, we're likely gonna double rest. I might as well take on that elite. End the suffering a little quicker. No, I'm not gonna do a bid there just to end the run. We are going to play Ancient Potion on this fight though, because we will die if we do not. Yeah, we will said die. Um... So he strikes me. I'm taking five damage. That's all I'm going to take here. And now we just sort of cruise to success. Turns out playing that other damage card might have given me a feed opportunity. It's a, a miss. The dazes are piling up as well. Don't even start with me with this, this bludgeon nonsense. Okay. Your headbutt. Ghost armor. Your headbutt. Headbutt. The good one. You take 11 damage. You hate this run. <laughs> okay. Block. Block. Headbutt. He defends himself next turn, so let's grab Bludgeon here. He does not defend himself this turn. You are highly incorrect. This is hell. I hate this deck. <laughs> I did it to myself too, but I, I want to do over. Am I dead? I am nearly dead. Not even bludgeon can save you, son. It'll do 42 damage, I can get him to yeah, it won't it won't help me. You just gotta keep playing strong headbuds. No, I'm actually dead. You know what? <clears throat> I'll give you the apology, because that second run, fucking trash. That first one was a throw. But that's going to do it for today. Ugh, yikes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is me ramble on and make some very bad speech phrases. By accident, of course, about my work day. But hey, see you for tonight's stream. Might do a shorter stream, because I am a little exhausted work here, but we'll see. For now, take it easy, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Take it easy, everyone.